Welcome to Math with Nile. This is an introduction to fractions. Hi Nile, and what are we going to look at first? One hole. Ta-da! Okay, we'll be looking at one hole first. So we have our hole here, Nile. What happens if we split this into two equal parts? It becomes two halves. Two halves, with each one being one half. And can you tell us, how do we write one half? One over two. One over two, so we can see that there. And just to be clear, how many halves do we have in the whole? Two. So we can put them together and we can see that these two halves make one whole. Good. Now, let's look at the whole again. Do you know what happens if we split it into three equal parts? It becomes three thirds. Three thirds. And each of these three equal parts, what do we call it? One third. And how do we write one third? One over three. One over three. So what if we put two of these pieces together? What do we get? Two thirds. And if we put all three of them together again? Three thirds. Which is also equal to? One whole. One whole. Good. Very good. So now, can you describe to us what is one quarter? A quarter is, uh, if you get your whole, you half it and half that half again, you get a quarter. What's another way we can get a quarter? You divide the whole into four equal parts. That's it. Divide the whole into four equal parts and one of these parts is, is a quarter. And how do we write one quarter? One over four. Good. What happens if we join one quarter with another quarter? You get a half or two quarters. You get two quarters. So we'll look at why that is a half another time. But we get two quarters. What if we join one quarter, one quarter and another one quarter? You get three quarters. Brilliant. And if we put all four quarters together? You get a whole. Great. So, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions now. Okay, Niall, how do we say one over five? One fifth. Good. And how do we get one fifth? You divide the whole into five equal parts. Good. So, two of these parts will be? Two fifths. And three? Three fifths. And four of them? Four fifths. And if we put all of them together? You get five fifths or a whole. Good, so one whole is equal to five fifths. Yes. Okay, what about one sixth? How do you write that? One over six. How do we get one sixth? We divide a whole into six equal parts. And how do we get one seventh? We divide a whole into seven equal parts. And how many sevenths give us one whole? Seven. Seven sevenths equal one whole. Good. And it goes on and it goes on. So for example, one twentieth. How would you get one twentieth? You divide a whole into twenty equal parts. And how many twentieths make one whole? Twenty. Twenty twentieths. Brilliant. So we're going to do a few little addition and subtraction questions based on these facts that we've learned today. The first question is, four fifths take away two fifths. Two fifths. We will have two fifths left. What about three tenths plus four tenths? Seven tenths. Very good now. Five sevenths plus one seventh. Six sevenths. Great. Seven ninths take away three ninths. Four ninths. Good job. One sixth plus five sixth. Six sixth, aka one whole. Six six, which is one whole. Good. So what is one whole take away three eighths? Five eighths. Why is that now? Because in a whole you have eight eighths and then 
8 take away 3 is 5, so 5 eighths. So 8 eighths take away 3 eighths, you're going to be left with 5 eighths. Good. Let's do one more of those. What is 1 whole take away 1 quarter? 3 quarters. Because? Because one whole is equal to four quarters, and then those four t quarters take away one quarter, it's three quarters. Great. So let's do one more question. Okay. What is one whole take away seven twelfths? One whole take away seven twelfths is five twelfths, because um, seven because a whole has 12 twelfths and then take away th and then 12 take away 7 and 5. So you'll be left with 5 twelfths. Yes. Okay. I hope that helps you understand how fractions relate to one whole and make sure to look out for any other videos coming up soon. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you just subscribe now, bye, don't forget to press that like button. Bye.